talked about the amygdala in our brain, how its job is to keep us safe, how it sometimes thinks we're in danger when we're not. And how it sends oxygen out to our arms and legs to prepare us to fight, flight, or freeze. That means less oxygen for our thinking brain or prefrontal cortex, making it difficult for us to think clearly. We need to get more oxygen back to our brain. <sighs> we need to do this by, drum roll please. Oh boy, I wonder what it is. Wait, breathing? Don't I already do that? Well, of course we're breathing right now. Let's try breathing a different way to get lots of oxygen to our brain. First, we'll try square breathing. Watch the caveman. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, and hold, counting to four each time. Let's practice with him, and use your finger to draw the square as you breathe. Ready? Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. On your own now. Taking slow, deep breaths or deep breathing is another way to get more oxygen to your brain. Try breathing in deeply and slowly through your nose, as if you're smelling something really yummy, and breathe out slowly through your mouth. Breathe with a caveman and listen. You can do square breathing or deep breathing anywhere, at home, school, work, or even bedtime. If you're about to do something that you know you get anxious about, like writing a test or trying something new, get more oxygen to your brain first. If your amygdala has been triggered and you're upset, angry, or worried, take several deep breaths or do square breathing. Remember, get more oxygen to your brain. There are other things you can do to help your mind and body relax. Have you noticed how your body becomes tense when you're upset, worried, scared, angry, or even hurt? Imagine your body is like spaghetti, all tense when it's uncooked and relaxed when it's cooked. Tighten up your body like raw spaghetti and hold it. Not very comfortable, is it? Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and let's be cooked spaghetti. Ah, that feels better. Let's try it again, but don't forget to breathe. Raw spaghetti for five, four, three, two, and one. Cooked spaghetti. Notice how your body feels when you let it relax. You can do this anywhere, especially if you notice your body is getting tense. You can slow this down by tightening and relaxing separate parts of your body, starting at your toes and working your way up to your head. Don't forget to wiggle your eyebrows. Another way to relax is to use your imagination and make a picture in your mind or visualize a special place where you feel safe, happy, and calm. What would your special place look like? A beach? Or your room? You can visit this place anytime in your mind to help you relax and stay calm. Did you know that your thoughts can affect how you feel, which affects what you do? Let's take a look at our thoughts some of our thoughts are unhelpful ones, or red thoughts. Some of our thoughts are helpful ones, or green thoughts. We all have red thoughts and green thoughts. It is possible to change a red thought to a green thought. More on that later. We have many feelings. Some are comfortable, some are uncomfortable. Our thoughts about a situation will affect how we feel. Imagine someone bumping into you. If you think, he did that on purpose just to bug me, you might feel angry or upset. If you think, 
He bumped me by accident. You might feel differently and not let it bother you. What will you do because of these feelings? Behavior is what you do. Negative behavior can get you into trouble, stop you from doing what you need to do, stop you from even trying, and often lead to more red thoughts. Oh no, the saber tooth's coming! Wait, he wanted to be friends? I never knew that. Positive behavior helps you stay calm, out of trouble, and willing to try. I know I can do it. I just have to keep trying. We can reframe or change our red thoughts into green thoughts. I'll never get this. I can't remember any of it. I'm gonna fail. <sighs> Wait a minute. I study this. I can do this. To review, breathing, relaxing, and thinking green thoughts can help you keep calm, sleep better, and think clearly. So, remember to calm down and release your amygdala.